today. Today we've got a Kenwood R1000 communications receiver. Brilliant little radio. Only problem is that some of them left the factory with the fuse wired into the neutral and not the AC mains positive. Don't know why that happened. Probably an oversight. Anyway, I'll show you how to fix that today. Start by disconnecting any and every antenna, speaker wire, most especially mains power. Now, what we're interested in is in the bottom half of this radio. So, you find two screws either side and a further to it back. Okay, now, because I've got <laughs> really big hands, we need to take that out of the chassis and move it, or scooch it, as Steve would say, scooch it out of the way. But before that, I do that, I'm just going to disconnect this lead here that connects to the frequency counter and move it out of the way. And this gives it a bit of a clear path there. Um, I also recommend you put something down on the circuit just to protect it from the transformer. Okay, so we've taken two screws out there, either side of the transformer. We we'll withdraw it out carefully because the neutral wire from the transformer to the base of the fuse isn't particularly long and we don't want to do any trauma to any of the other wires here either. This is the hard part because I need to get in but you need to see. Get your desoldering pump, heat up your neutral wire on the fuse and get as much of that solder out of there as you can. Apply a little bit more heat without burning myself and withdraw the neutral wire. Yes, thank you. Clean that wire up a bit. Okay, so that's step one. Disconnect your neutral from the transformer to the fuse. Take your desoldering pump and apply some heat to your mains input on the back of your IEC, sorry, on the back of your IEC plug. And unpack it from the chassis here. Applying a bit of heat and free it up. Leave your filter cap in place. You don't want to mess with that. Thank you. I have a captive audience this morning. They're a little bit vocal. <laughs> anyway. So we'll call that step two. 
disconnect your mains IEC input to voltage selector wire, the short one. Grab your desoldering pump again, apply some heat to your neutral input and get that solder off of there. Now we'll just give it a bit of a wiggle and withdraw that wire from there. Okay, we'll take this wire here and connect it to your AC mains input. Don't be afraid to use a little bit more solder. This is not something you want to come adrift later down the track. Make sure you get a nice clean solder joint. Okay. Okay, we're going to take the wire from the uh, voltage selector, untangle it first, and it's going down to the bottom of the fuse there. It's hard to do without getting my hands in the way. Okay. Lastly, we've got the neutral wire from the transformer to solder onto the back of the IEC plug. We'll just make a little hook in it and um, solder it on. Don't be scared, once again, to use a little bit more solder. This is something you do not want coming undone.
everything's hooked in. Secure that transformer so nothing else comes adrift. Make a point of not crushing your 12 volt wires there. Take that out. Reconnect your wire to the frequency counter if that's something that you disconnected. And um, reassemble the case. Nightclubs, hotels, and clubs, thanks to Coke from Community Roadsafe Mildura and Coca Cola, supported by Easy Mix 1467.